whatever that's, I want. Yeah. I bought a Gundam. You did buy I a bought, Gundam. I fucking oh, yeah, show show a man. I don't. I don't know anything about the show. Um, I put him in this position because he was holding a pencil, mm -hmm. and uh, he's just. I built him on stream. That's why, guys. I always talk about the Discord. If you are uh, listening to this, you should jump in that Discord because I streamed to me building this, and I enjoyed myself so much. His, that... his head's a little bit cockeyed. Well, he's looking yeah. up. See, I did that because, like, if he's at holding... least someone's looking up. <laughs> <laughs> I did it so, like, if he's holding a pencil, it's like he's like, "Sir, yeah. like, what is your job? You smear the butter. You pass the butter. What's the fucking yeah pickle, Rick?" Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. So, like, I enjoyed the hell out of that, especially when I go to Japan and they're fucking even cheaper. I plan on coming yeah. home with like sixteen. I'm like boxes that one was pretty detailed. I paid under only... twenty bucks. Yeah, it was under twenty bucks. I gotta, I gotta paint the lines and shit, but I need a thinner marker. Mm. We have yet to talk about anything about this episode. We haven't. Um, we're, we're just here to bullshit. Yeah. I mean, it's what we've been doing. I've been here for, like, almost a week. Mm -hmm. I like it here. It's really nice. Yeah, that's why it's been here. fine, yeah. yeah, yeah my yeah. roommates are cool. They're, like, yeah. my best friends. Yeah. You know, except for that one. Yeah. yeah. And now I'm here. Now you're here. Yeah. Yeah. Now I have that's all cool. the best friends here. Are you sure we're recording? I am. I am incredibly anxious about this so recording. It always shows up right here. You see? No, I know, I know. Yeah. Um, so, all right. Because we're in a weird thing... Um, and I normally write everything down. Uh, this is the first time I didn't write it all down. Yeah, you have your little notepad usually. Yeah, for this I just, uh, I'm gonna go right off the wiki. Um, this is for Bunker Hill, the Fallout 4 location. I thought we should do something from 4. I don't feel like we really touch on 4 all We don't lot. give 4 enough love, and I personally really like 4. I know honestly, it's not your honestly, favorite. Honestly, I don't think Bethesda gave 4 enough love. I really I th don't. I think that's fair, yeah. Uh, I think if they would have delayed the game by a year... It would have been so much better. Yeah. However, you would have, uh, put a bullet in your head if you had to wait one more year at that point in your life. No? No! Uh... You were very... Once they announced it, you were, like, gung-ho. Yeah, but I'm saying they should have announced it. Yeah, They yeah. should have waited until the next year to announce it and release it in 2016. You know, just let uh, Survivor uh, blow over. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, what year did that end? That was around Fallout 4's... No, it was... Like, dev time. No, 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 no. Fallout 4, when, when 2299 happened, I was, in, I was in my junior year of high school. Mm -hmm. And when... When Fallout 4 came out, I had just graduated. Yes. So yeah, yeah. so it was a, it was a few years. If it, 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 I think it should have. What do you call it? I think they should have waited. Bunker Hill. Bunker Hill is a location and potential settlement in the Commonwealth in 2287. Upon completing the quest Battle of Bunker Hill, the player character can unlock the settlement by speaking to Kessler. That's a great fucking name. I love that. That's name. a yeah. Shout out to Lehman Kessler. Who, I don't know who that is. You don't know who that is. Who is that? It's a uh, one of the NPCs from the Adventure Zone. Uh oh, they uh, the characters uh, impersonate him like for most of an arc. Really? Yeah. He's not a real person. He's not a real person. Oh, cool. Yeah. Uh, during the American Revolution, this area was the site between General. Is that Israel? Yeah. General Israel Putnam. And Colonial Amer. And Colonial. I'm sorry. Of the Colonial Army, General Israel Putnam of the Colonial Army, and his British counterpart, General William Howe, uh, thought to be primarily fought on nearby Breed's Hill, the Battle of Bunker Hill, received its name from the primary British objective, which they ultimately took. Uh, while the colony force forces were defeated, the battle was a... Are you having a... Do you want me to read some? Hold on. I don't know what this word is. Py py Pyric? Where is that? P-Y-R-R-H-I-C? That has uh, too many consonants and not enough vowels. A Pyrrhic victory. Pyrrhic victory for the British Army, convincing them to avoid further engagements during the Siege of Boston. Um, Pyrrhic won at too great a cost or have been worthwhile for the victor. Wait, it was too expensive of a win for it to actually be counted as a win. It's like, yeah, so it, this this side lost 1,000 people, but this side lost 999. Yeah. Just because there's one person left doesn't mean that was a win. Yeah. Yeah. See, whoever wrote this this article for the wiki had more writing experience than most of the people who wrote for Fallout 4. Uh, for multiple reasons. 
One of them being, who the fuck knows what the word pyric means? I don't know. Who, and I don't know. And two, Fallout 4's ending is just Fallout 3's. Um, the railroad has a base <laughs> underneath the com uh, underneath the complex where they prepare synths for extradi extradition I from the Commonwealth during the purge of the railroad. The institute attacks this complex. I didn't know that. Unknown the outcome. You didn't know that at a basement? No. Yeah. Um. This is an area that there isn't much about it, and that's why I wanted to talk about it a little bit, because I kind of wanted to expand upon what we think mm -hmm. they could have done more with, because I remember seeing this in the trailer and going, like, getting instantly, like, what? Like, whoa, that looks cool. Like, not even, yeah. well, that, but it also reminded me of the Washington Monument from, mm -hmm. from, uh, three, and thinking, like, oh, what, what, what could we see with this? Like, what could we... What could happen out of this? Could we wind up seeing, um, could we wind up seeing like another radio tower thing? Could we wind up seeing, um, like some sort of communications coming from it? Could you see it as a beacon of almost or, as like a, an homage to like to three? Not even an homage, but just as like storytelling shit. Okay. Like like William Tell. That's is no no not William Tell. That's the, the Apple guy, right? That shoots an apple off his son's head. I think so. Yeah. Um, Jefferson. Uh, Jefferson put the, the lanterns in the windows, one if by land, two if by sea, right? Yeah, and then that, Paul Revere, Paul like, Revere, he whatever. wrote his ass off. Yeah, the, yeah, one of the best Beastie Boys song. You ever hear that? No, I didn't. Fucking, there's a Beastie uh, Boys song about Paul Revere? Yeah, off their first album, Off License to Ill, from like 86. That sounds fucking it's awesome. It's fucking, it's the one that's all backwards. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, I got a story to tell about three bad brothers you know so well. You never heard that? I'm pretty sure if I heard it, like, played, yeah. I would. I'm 90% sure it's a I'm not about to white. copyright strike us. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, sorry. Yeah, so I thought, like, maybe you would see, maybe this is... I also thought the story was going to be vastly different from what it actually was. Mm -hmm. um, the only thing I actually, like, remember about Bunker Hill is... The battle. Aside from the battle of Bunker Hill, um, it was just, like, the little, like, uh, shops and stuff. And the guy with the charge card, I met him around there. Oh, really? Yeah, it was, like, right outside Bunker Hill. No shit. I remember he's... I met I met him in what is supposed to be, like, Southie. That dude's a fuck. I love him. He's I the most him. ghoulman shit. I know. I think he... I think... I think he calls you a... No. I think he does. I think he goes, there you go, you fucking... Like, he does it in the... No! I, I could be wrong. We should probably censor that. <laughs> should I? I mean, alright. It's it's a cultural thing. It's about Boston. That's like their... <laughs> it's, I don't, I don't know. know. It's Boston. They're fucking garbage water people. <laughs> <laughs> then what are we? Um, We're hillbilly mountain dwellers. You are. I'm not from Pennsylvania. Gross. I'm a, I'm a Brooklyn sophisticate. Are you, though? No, I'm not. You're not. I'm gonna cut most of that. Um, so Bunker Hill is surrounded by a, lo a large wall only allowing access through the main gate of the south side and a small door on the east side. Uh, just in front of the main gate is an obelisk with stairs, which is the monument itself. Mm -hmm. Um, that's really about it. Yeah, it's not very detailed. I want to know about the basement. Is there, like, pictures of the basement? Uh, yeah, we can talk about the basement. Just give me one sec. I just want to get some notes done and we'll go, we'll go to thing. We'll go basement dwelling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, during the escape synth random encounter, a man named Timothy will ask the sole survivor two directions to Bunker Hill. Uh, upon the first time visiting Bunker Hill, one may be able to find Deacon posing as a caravan worker. The sole survivor may encounter the uh, the ghoul Edward Deegan, uh, who later tells you about ja the Cabot family and all of... Um, Ooh, the Cabot quest line is very good. Have we ever talked about the Cabots? We haven't. We should. That's a good one. Yeah. yeah. Um... <laughs> While escorting Liberty Prime uh, towards the Institute during the Ad Victorium quest, he will recognize the monument and salute. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, if you want to build things in the settlement, mm -hmm. you can't go all the way to the top of the obelisk. It stops at about halfway. There's oh, okay. an invisible Wait, can wall. you actually, like, gain that settlement to build mm -hmm. them? Oh, cool. Any, any place that you can fast travel to, more or less, that isn't, like... Um, the Pridwin or mm -hmm. the Institute, I'm pretty sure you can build on. Oh, wow. Because there's... You can't build on the Pridwin, but you can build in the airport down there. So, not like any settlement that isn't a major location or like you, a building yeah. you can enter, you can pretty much... Just build outside. Build, huh? yeah. Oh, that's cool. Actually, I might... One of my modded Fallout 4 playthroughs, I played survival mode, but like with mods to make it harder. 
Um, and I got this really cool mod that you got to build your own little campsite. And you would like interact with the fireplace and you could just like fold it all up into an item in your Pip Boy. And you can bring it and like pop it out anywhere. Mm -hmm. And I remember that being like the funnest thing of just like never like settling down, but like going throughout some. Yeah, like I, you yeah. couldn't fast travel, you couldn't do anything, just constantly moving. And I'd like settle by the river at like when it got to nighttime and just it was so fucking cool. I have this idea and I want to make a video about it, but the thing is, I don't know how to write it and I don't know how to kind of like format mm -hmm. it. And I don't really have the equipment to make it. What do you mean? Like, I need a couple... Th I'll talk... I'll tell you about it later, but I okay. need a couple things that, like, I would need. And one of my main driving... F not focuses, but one of the drive... The main things about it that I keep, like, trying to reinforce is, like, limited ammo. Um, and the feeling of always having to be on the move. Like, a true survivalistic gameplay. Mm -hmm. Like, there's no... Like, a nomadic. Yeah, but it's, it's mostly based within a big city. Okay. So, like... The like you would think, oh, the only safe place is the top of a of a large building. The mm -hmm. only thing that is going to be able to know that I'm up there is people on higher buildings, and they're not going to come all the way down and then all the way up to get me. If yeah. anything, we're just going to see each other. They're going to take shots at me, so I have to find cover. Or just be like, so <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's like, do I hide on the lowest level, but everyone can see me, or do I w take the time and go up and take the energy and you have to no, eat this, would this be like drink. a video game or a board game? No, or? this is like the perfect sequel. For the next mainline Fallout game. Oh, wow. Like, I have, I've, when I used to hang out at this coffee shop with some friends, mm -hmm. we were there for four hours, and I told them, like, the whole thing of, like, the city, the location, the, whole premise. the, the cultural references, more or less what the story would be. Like, I have this idea, like, not fleshed out, but I know more or less what I want it to be, and the entire theme of it is, is how you said that, packing your shit up and leaving and going and, like... I really want that the I think like I think every fallout does really really well when it has a theme. Mm -hmm. Like um New Vegas's theme is obviously luck and the the hands that you're dealt and how to deal with yeah. them. Uh 3 is more and, like most choices are a gamble. Like you know, Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um and then like even the DLC and that's what I loved about Honest Hearts is that the theme there was this theme of of like moving on and doing what's right but still holding on to tradition and still doing that and then uh i need to go back and replay zion because the first time i played it i hated it it's it's my favorite one uh um, i need to give it another shot you should yeah. and then play dead money because dead money the whole theme of like letting sierra madre, go, yeah? yeah 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 i, I like sierra madre the, 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 it reminds me so much of fallout one like the atmosphere mm -hmm. that crush and i just i really like the crushing difficulty of one of mm -hmm. like that like if you die, you're dead. Like, the game ends. It boots you to the main screen. Yeah, like, you're fucked. You're it's fucked. not like, continue or try again. It's just, and there he lays, dead in the wastes, and it's over. Mm -hmm. um, like, Wasteland. Wasteland, I think, did that. Yeah, yeah. but that's, that's, that's <laughs> what I'm getting at, is that that whole, what you said, like, that idea of never having a home. Like, you know how Fallout 4 mm -hmm. was welcome home? This one is, like, what is a home? Yeah. Um, like, home is gone. Yeah. Um, so, you want to talk about the basement quick because you didn't know about it? I didn't know about the basement. Tell me about it. Sure, let me find Is the it, Does it have its own wiki page? Uh, it has like a subset page. We get all the lore off of fallout.fandom.com. Um, it does not. It has a cell. Like, I can see the mm -hmm. cell of it. I see it. It just says, uh, Bunker Hill 01 Basement. Mm -hmm. So just a quick behind the scenes, the American. This is exactly not what I wanted. <laughs> in the the uh, the American Revolutionary War, the Battle of Bunker Hill was predominantly fought on Breed's Hill and not Bunker Hill. Bunker I actually knew that. Did you? Yeah. Why didn't you say it? I don't know why I didn't say it. Okay. I was in history club for That's years cool. when I was in high school, so I know a bunch of like weird American history stuff. I told that teacher I was going to join history club, and then I didn't do it. And it I wasn't for weird. you. Yeah, yeah, I like history, but whatever. Um, it, wasn't it wasn't your crowd. It was not. It was not your crowd. It was not. Yeah. Uh, the real world Bunker Hill monument. Ma ma monument. The oh, monument. The monument. The monument. <laughs> What's that fucking uh, Muppet song? Phenomena. Uh, <laughs> The real world Bunker Hill Monument is constructed. <laughs> Did I say it again? No. Oh. <laughs> the real world fucking monument is constructed at the site of the battle on Breed's Hill. Therefore, it is much like it is much 
like its real-world counterpart, the in-game battle of Bunker Hill does not take place on Bunker Hill. Oh, huh, that's kind of fun. Yeah, it's it's neat. It's something that I thought was going to be bigger. Ooh, this, pictures. this, actually, the okay, hold on. I right. want to talk about something because this fucking pisses me off. And the other night when I was looking at the wiki, I mm -hmm. saw this. There's a, there, it'll be on screen. There's a pre-war photo of Nate and Nora near Bunker Hill in Fallout Four. Fuck this. Fuck this. It's literally fine. No, I don't, it isn't. I don't see the problem. No, it is this. not. Because it gives you a story. It gives you more story. It gives the character more story. This is supposed to be an RPG. Is it not? I, I've is abandoned it, are the that. Fallout game, no, are the Fallout games supposed to be an RPG? They're supposed to be. They're supposed to be. This, adding this picture, it's cool. It's like the Robert House picture where you get to see him with Liberty yeah. Prime. That's really fucking tight. This doesn't need to exist. This does not need to exist. It doesn't exist. tell anything. You know what pisses me off? You know what just piss? Yes, it does. You have it a wife tells that you pisses it, you off. No. What? Well, I mean, that you were given a spouse. You were given a spouse, and then okay, fine. You play as the male character. You can get in the power armor. You were in the army, so you can say, "All right, whatever." All right, you fine. had power armor training. She was a fucking lawyer. Yeah. What training did she like? Like, was Nate just chilling in the in the garage? Like, come on, honey, I'm going to teach you how to use the power armor. That's too much story for you. Leave it open ended. Like I think Fallout Three having the story that it has is is open ended enough mm -hmm. to just be like, all right, now do what you gotta. Yeah. New Vegas during uh, on it. What's the last one? The one with, with Lonesome the, with Road, the Twisted Hairs, Lonesome Road. You can talk about that. You've been to Dogtown, like mm -hmm. if you want, but yeah. you cannot choose that option. And then okay, you've never been to Denver, like. What, the? what is it? No problem. Okay. I don't know. This just bothers me. Um, I personally don't think it's that big of a deal. It's not really saying much other than these can, people live in this city. Did you ever find the World Series baseball bat? The one in... Uh, I don't know where it is. I uh, want to say it's in Jamaica Sawadas. Plain. No, 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 no. I think I want to say it's in Jamaica Plain. It is the 22... I'm sorry. The 2076 World Series baseball bat. I didn't I never found that. Uh, I want to say that same area, and I could be wrong... But that same area is, uh, you could find a terminal saying that Vince is coming, well, I named my character Vince. It was like, Vince is coming down to give a speech about his time in the military in front of a bunch of people. And I'm like, why? 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 Atomic Radio Hour Podcast.